dignitaries on uh, a symposium or a information which is uh, going out to the public to spread this information that mobile phones directly are not responsible for uh, the causation of these tumors and nor they have any hazards in patients who have been treated with brain tumors and all. There have been studies uh, because there was alleged uh, uh, cause-effect relationship proposed in the Western press about two, three tumors, as Dr. Kohli also mentioned, meningioma, and then there's a tumor called acoustic neuromas, which are, if you have any, this very close to the ear, and it causes deafness, and there's a tumor. And these studies were uh, involved, epidemiological studies where the people were followed for many, many years who were using mobile hand on one side, and they were trying to find out whether epidemiologically the, that segment of the population who used the mobile, especially on one side, had a higher chance of brain tumor than the normal population, and the study was negative. So we have a lot of data available, but still, uh, radiation is such a, a, such a thing which uh, causes immediate attention in the media and in the public, although I say it's much less harmful than the pollution we are getting on daily roads. So, uh, uh, so the, the first question is why is to be educated and this kind of uh, conference is the perfect forum to spread this information. Uh, in radiation oncology or in the radiation field when we are using, I can tell you an instance when the uh, MRI came, it used to be called nuclear magnetic re resonance, NMR. And people used to be scared we should not get M MR because it has a nuclear energy, nuclear, it was called NMR. But then soon, the industry changed the name to MRI, Magnetic Resonance Imaging, and the, the whole myth disappeared. So I think the myth arises from many, many things and half-baked knowledge, and therefore still uh, uh, studies are still continuing, in spite of on this podium we are saying there's no harmful effect. Studies are continuing, and we should keep track of these studies. Can this very low form of radiation can have any other effect the other effect which has been mentioned is the heating effect. You know, if you are used mobile for a long period of time, you feel a little heat uh, around the ear. Is that heat harmful? Or if you are keeping a mobile phone in your pocket, can that heat be uh, harmful for your testicle? So all these questions are uh, being uh, asked and the answers are being sought. And it's best to keep abreast of the knowledge and spread this information among the general public. As of today, uh, as of now, the data suggests, not only from the epidemiological studies, also from animal experiments, they have seen there is no real data to support that this kind of uh, non-ionizing radiation can cause cancer or any other debilitating form of illness. So thank you very much uh, for inviting us here, and uh, I leave it to the next uh, doctor to tell you about something more.